Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. We're going to continue working with multiplying uh, numbers together, multiplying fractions together. Here we're going to do word problems that are going to involve multiplying mixed numbers together. So two and a half times one and three quarters and so on. Now we already know how to do the multiplication. We've practiced that, but here we're going to read some word problems and make sure we understand that what we're asked to do is actually multiplication. So the first problem says, Jessica has two and one-third pounds of candy. That's how much candy Jessica has. She gives one quarter of the candy to Jenny. How much candy, candy does Jenny actually get? Now, if we read the problem, you'll see it says right here, she gives one-fourth of the candy to Jenny. And we've mentioned over and over that in word problems, typically the word of usually means multiplication. And that's what it means here. We, we know that Jessica has two and a third pounds of candy, and she gives away a certain amount of it to her friend, one quarter of that amount, of that amount. So we need to multiply these fractions together. Effectively, we're chopping down that two and a third pound bag uh, and taking a quarter of it away. So the way to do it is, you write it down and you say, well, two and one third, that's how many pounds of candy we have. And we're gonna chop that down by one quarter, and so we're multiplying that together. Now when you write it like this, you realize what you have is a mixed number times a fraction. And uh, in order to do that, we have learned that we want to convert the mixed numbers. So here we have 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So that will be 7 thirds, because we always write it over the denominator. And then we're going to multiply by uh, 1 fourth. Multiply by 1 fourth. So what we have right there is two fractions that we know how to multiply. Any two fractions, we just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominator. So 7 times 1 is 7. 3 times 4 is 12. 12. So we have 7 twelfths is the answer. We try to reduce it, and we can't reduce this anymore, so this is it. So 7 twelfths of what? Of a pound. All right now, if you think about it, 6 twelfths, 6 over 12, uh, would be 1 half. So this is just a little bit more than half of a pound. So if Jenny actually has two and a third pounds of candy and decides to give one fourth of it away, multiplying it out, she's actually given seven twelfths of a pound, which is just a little bit more than half a pound because half a pound will be six out of twelve, six twelfths. All right. So again, we read the problem, we try to understand and see what it's asking us to do and then carry it out. So the next problem says Martin grows a plant that is two and one fifth inches tall. James is growing a plant two and a half times taller than Martin. How tall is James's plant? So here it's a little bit different. We have a different keyword to look for. We know that Martin grows a plant two and one fifth inches tall. James is growing a plant two and a half, two and a half times taller. The word two and a half times uh, implies multiplication. When you think about it, times tables, multiplication tables. So if something is two times larger or three times larger or five times larger, you're multiplying. Here it's two and a half times larger. So in order to pull that off, uh, basically, we write down what we know. We know that Martin's plant is two and one fifth uh, inches tall, and we know that James is growing something that's two and a half times taller. So this is what the original plant is. We're multiplying it by two and a half times because the other guy's building or growing a plant that's much, much taller. All right, and so we have now two mixed numbers multiplying together. That's okay, we know how to handle that. We convert each of them to improper. Five times two is 10, plus one is 11 over five. And then we're multiplying by this guy, which two times 